I'm going to go into the face. I'll use this little bit smaller brush here. Around the eyes, I had added some, and I may not have added enough, which it appears I didn't. It's hard to tell because my um, pencil marks are, I mean, my um, pen marks are so bold. It's hard to tell if I added enough. So we're going to come back here with some medium and see what happens. Probably come in and make him a little less sad looking. I'm going to take my thumb and just kind of pull that shading up along the nose to give me something to work off of later. And I did get a lot of black over here. So I'm just going to work it. Like I said, I know there's going to be kind of shadows here. I'm not big on doing eyebrows. I mean, they do add a lot to your characters, so feel free to add eyebrows to yours. So, get a little shadowing under the nose here. Alright, I'm going to add more to his face. I want, I like the way this paper tore, so I want to add sort of a little bug helmet for him. That's very cute. So you can see, we are at a spot where the character is coming alive here. Got some darks in here, and he's pretty serious. <laughs> All right. Now, some of this, these black lines, I may have missed with the medium, they may reactivate. Some of these I ha may have missed with medium, they may reactivate, but I'm not worried about that. This is a journal page, this is where you practice. It's not, um, it's not a expensive canvas or anything to worry about. So where I'm at right now is I'm going to add lights back in. And I use two different approaches to adding light. Um, one is using gouache, which is a white, very opaque uh, watercolor product. And it blends nicely with watercolors. And I set my journals up to mostly work in watercolor. But I also use um, heavy body titanium white and the you know the the difference basically is that the white of the gouache will continue to reactivate where the titanium white once it's done it stays put i also use a fluid titanium white for when i'm trying to get in small spaces if i'm working on a smaller face um, it's a little easier to get the white where i want it to go especially around the eyes so this is also an option. Um, and I will add my light areas um, before I start adding color. So just put this paint out here. I'm going to not use the gouache today. I'm going to use the titanium white heavy body. And I also use um, Titan Buff for the kind of mid-range areas of the face, so I'm going to pull this out too. Let's have this handy. 
Alrighty. So the first thing I want to do, some titanium white or titan buff out here, is I'm gonna come in and kind of re redraw the eyelid with my brush. And I can come back in and redraw the, the dark too. But what this does is it minimizes that, that severe black line that's happening here. Um, there's always a light area under the eye. And kind of a ball shape to the nose with two little wings here. And the top of the mouth. Now, this mouth I did sort of a straight across um, upper lip, but if I want to make a, a dip in it, just get a brush here, I'll just make a little dip and bring the mouth down. I'm obviously going to have to do that a little bit for the dark, but this is a process that I continue to work back and forth on until I like the darks and I like the lights. So I'm just using the Titan Buff to kind of Push back some of the collage, actually. And I'm scrubbing away. I use inexpensive brushes. These are soft grift brushes that you can get, like Michaels or you know most craft stores, and they're like three dollar brushes. Because I I scrub, I forget to rinse them out. I leave them on the table. little highlight where the chin is and because I feel the chin is probably lower than that black line I'm gonna sort of redraw that line a little bit with paint so now he's got I'm going to bring the camera in so you can see the face a little better while I work on it. So that was a layer of white, or light, and it makes me want to go back to, to dark, but because I'm starting to refine and make my lines more permanent, I'm going to go with a regular wax color pencil. So I'm going to come back in here and redraw my, my eye line. And a little shading here. And because this is a color pencil, I don't have to worry about it reactivating once I put colors over the top of it. Let's see if I can't get the eyes a little more even. And I'm going to come back and do a little nostril thing back here and look how, how that fixed that and made it look a lot better. For me, the nose is um, always difficult, as I'm sure it is for a lot of you, but I use little tricks to work the nose to get it to behave the way I want it, and I just keep working back and forth till I like the look of it. So for the mouth, I gave it a swoop here, so I'm just going to redraw, and usually there's a, a dip. So think of an upside down laid out W for the mouth. I'm going to turn up the corner a little bit so it's not so sad. 
And there's my little circles under the mouth for the lower lip. Okay. A little more shading here. And this book has a really high forehead, so it makes me want to do like another layer of like a bandana or hat section here. And actually, I'm going to use the Sharpie for that. So I keep that strong line thing happening. Okay. Now that I have that going on, go in with a like a light or a buff colored pencil and kind of try to get the color part of the eye up. And this is not showing very well. So since that's not working, I'm going to use paint. And I will use the Titan Buff again in a fluid form to try to add the color portion of the eyes. So I just kind of go in like that. I think I've already ruined the tip to this brush. It's not very accurate. And while I still have Titan Buff, I'm going to add it over those um, pencil lines that I did. Everything that you add is a layer and every layer adds to the mystery of it. So just added Titan Buff over the top here. Come back in here. Now the nose is lighter here. This is coming along. I'm going to come back in with the black pencil and kind of reform that. Usually, um, the upper eyelid where your lashes are forms a shadow over the eye, and so I always try to shade underneath that to get that shadow and it helps with the realistic look. What I'm talking about is you have, you have a lid here and you have an eye that normally would be kind of like this. And here's your eyelid. You can either draw the whole thing or do the stylized like I do with partial. And then you get the bottom part that goes like that. So um, normally this lid would cause um, some shadow to come, and that's what I'm talking about, adding that. You can't really see it because the drawing I'm doing is super dark. But the other thing is that the pupil would normally be kind of in the middle of the eye. But that's kind of a freaky looking eye. And so what I do is I just, I figure the middle and then I sort of cheat it um, to tuck it up underneath like that. Much better eye. And there's my, that swoop that I do that's, that goes below. It's sort of the whole eye package there. That might help. All right, so where are we here?